Skylar, my little buddy, you had to get locked up while I took a shower because you would eat everything you could get your jaws on. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Did you miss me? Hmm? He doesn't sleep there, by the way. He sleeps in my room beside my bed, but I needed a shower, so I had to put his cage here. Put the TV on so we see him settled and he doesn't seem like he's alone. So he won't cry. Meal number one for Skylar, of course, and not me because he comes first. We will go probably 80 grams. You can give him this stuff dry, but he seems to like it more when it is wet. Also, he's on Royal Cane now, but I've been recommended to switch him off this and throw him on this stuff right here, ClinVet. So once that bag's out, I'm gonna transition him into this stuff. Gonna let that cool down for a bit. And then it's breakfast time, buddy. But we have shit to talk about, man. Skyler, he's licking my toes. Another day in paradise, people. Paradise being stage five lockdown, stuck in the apartment, can only leave for getting food, etc. You are gonna fall if you keep messing. Skyler's on my lap, what's up, buddy? Mwah. Okay, people, today's video is gonna be something that I wanted to talk about. We've done the ugly truth of being absolutely shredded to the bone, shit banged. We've done the ugly truth of cheat days, shit banged. I feel like this is just as important. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the ugly truth of dirty bulking because I see a lot of beginner lifters thinking this is a good idea. If there is a lot of videos on this, they're probably long and boring and scientific based. So what I like to do with these videos is just peel back all the bullshit and make it just like a motherfucker sitting down being as relatable as possible and just talking to you, okay? If you're someone who is thinking about dirty bulking, watch this video. If you still want to dirty bulk after, go ahead. You do you. But I just feel like this this shit needs to be known. Ghost. Link in the description for a discount. Use this shit. Also, people, you see the goddamn jeans, man. These is legend London. These jeans is clean. You can squat in these jeans, you can sleep in these jeans, you can swim in these jeans, you can... What rhymes with swim? Fuck it. There's always also a link for legend london in the description they have hoodies tracksuits jeans t-shirts more tracksuits and more jeans you will also be supporting me during this tough time of lockdown where i cannot make a lot of videos i cannot make a lot of income i'm going broke i'm all right people don't worry but it will be appreciated if you do help a boy out you want to come up don't you come on okay people dirty bulking where do we begin if you don't know what dirty bulking is, it's basically a method of bulking where you don't give a shit about calories or anything like that. You eat what you want, when you want, whether it's shit ass food, whether it's takeaways. You're just getting as much calories in as possible. Now, for a hard gainer, it may be something that you need to do. You might need a takeaway just to get these quick ass calories in because you can't gain weight no matter what you eat. But for the majority of planet Earth, we can put on weight. We can physically consume enough calories to put on weight if we just put our head down and get it fucking done. You know, that's only like the second time he's ever been on his bed. I don't like him being on his bed because in case he poops on his bed, this is my place of sleep. All right, the reason I feel like these videos do good is because I try not make them formal. I try to sit down and say everything off the top of my head, my experiences, so that a motherfucker can relate to me as a human, okay? I'm not here to be a teacher. What's up, I'm Glenn? Virtual handshake. Please, I hope you didn't leave me hanging. Okay, dirty bulking may seem like a fun ass idea. You can eat a takeaway whenever you want. You're getting strong as hell. It's it's gonna be exciting at the start, okay? This is a, this is if you have set yourself on a dirty book. What the hell? <coughs> what? Okay, where was I? Your strength will be flying up, you'll be looking buff, the scales number will be shooting up. We'll have filthy ass pumps in the gym for a while, okay? This is all just at the beginning of a dirty bulk, okay? It's it's good. Let's say you're starting a dirty bulk lean. Life is gonna be good as hell. But time will go on, and what you will know is, is within a couple months, you will have gained a lot of unwanted fat. The main goal of a bulk, okay, people, is not to see a scale number go up, it's to put on lean body mass, because at the end of the day, the only way you're gonna see the body mass is when you get lean, okay? So what's the point? In being lean, bulking, becoming a fat shit, looking worse than you did when you were lean and smaller, then to bulk, then to cook, and not have put on that much fucking lean body mass, but having to went through a 16 week cut just to see an extra quarter inch on the arms, it's not worth it. 
Things have not as well been on a dirty bulk when I was younger was I eventually became sluggish as hell. Which is usually due to the fact that all day your body is digesting food and as a human you don't want to be running around doing shit while your body is digesting like a thousand calories. Okay, you want to lie down and curl up into a ball, slip into a goddamn coma and awaken in the year 2029. I also had no appetite, which does happen on a bulk eventually, but it happened a lot quicker on a dirty bulk, okay? I got sick of the good foods that I loved really quick compared to when I was on a bulk, slowly increasing the calories. I was still enjoying food for like three to four months, whereas on a dirty bulk, I was sick of all the food within a month. My dog is going crazy, man. These young French bulldogs is crazy as hell. You eventually will stop appreciating those fast food takeaways that you love. At no stage in the dirty bulk, the training take a hit. I think that's the only thing that maintained between the dirty bulk and a lean bulk is training is still good. I'm gonna let you up. If you bark, you're back down. Another thing I noticed is I fell out of routine really easy because of the sluggishness and just, when you, I don't know what it is. When you eat shit food, you just feel shit and you just become a piece of shit. <laughs> Not really. But I fell out of routine so easy when I was on a dirty bulk. I had no structure to the meals. I used to just wake up, eat whatever. Whenever I was hungry next, I'd eat whatever. There was no consistent calories. There was no routine in the body, in life. I became a bum. A few months in, I dealt with body dysmorphia, I always felt fat. And this happened way too easy. Like I'm bulking now, God knows how many months. And because it was it was slow and gradual, I'm fresh with, with having a high body fat. I don't give a shit, okay? I don't be taking my top off a lot nowadays. I'm in the apartment, unless I'm taking the top off to look at myself in the mirror for no goddamn reason. That's sus as fuck. I'm, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be shredded right now. That's besides the point. Body dysmorphia. Especially because the main demographic that go on dirty books is young men that don't know a lot about this shit. Young men get insecure and body dysmorphia a lot quicker than someone who's trained in many years who has been on a book many times, okay? We're used to seeing ourselves in high body fat and low body fat. We is chilling, man. Also, look, if we're talking health in general, the amount of negatives that come with a dirty book, abnormal blood values, spike in your insulin, I could go on forever that could be a 20 minute long video of the cons the just health of dirty bulking but there is a lot of videos out there if you want to go and watch them go ahead i'm just trying to like talk to you human to human my life experience with this shit long story short if you are thinking of going on a dirty bulk consider everything's gonna be good at the start life will be good you'll be enjoying food you like you'll quickly start putting on weight you'll quickly start not appreciating the food you like you won't really be craving any of your favorite takeaways you won't be looking forward to any of your meals on a bulk you don't either when it's like six months in but this shit will happen after a month you'll be sluggish you'll probably have deeper sleeps because you'll have more calories in you because of the deeper sleeps even though you eat more calories you'll be tired as hell you're gonna start putting on weight quick you may suffer from body dysmorphia you may feel fat you're setting yourself up for a disaster of a cut if you put on a lot of body fat you could be cut for 20 weeks to even be where you were before you started that dirty bulk and that could have only been three months ago okay so kids if maybe if some old men are watching this that haven't trained and don't know a lot about bulking are thinking about dirty bulking don't do it man i like to keep these videos short sweet and effective Straight to the point i do not condone dirty bulks i do not like dirty bulks i'm not friends with the dirty bulk. Oh my god. He took a piss. Come on, Skyler. Don't do me like that on video. That calls for the end of the video. I like to keep these short, sweet, and effective. I'm gonna go and have to disinfect my whole bed. Make sure you drop this video a like. Support me with the links in the D. Say goodbye <sighs> to pissy pants. I'll catch you on in the next one. I'm not gonna know when that is. But you better be there. Oh